Hey everybody and welcome back to Everything Tech and today we're going to be creating an installer disk with Windows 7. Before we get started, you want to make sure you have a DVD, although you can use a USB drive, I'm going to be using a DVD for this tutorial, and you want to make sure you use a DVD if you are going to use a disc, and this is because CDs have lower storage space than DVDs, and it requires you to have a DVD. So once you have your DVD, put it in your computer and just leave it there so it doesn't bother you or you have to worry about it later. I have mine in my computer now, so if you just go into this PC, it's going to show you that I have a DVD ROM here, and it says that it's completely empty, so we can go ahead and use Use it. Next thing on the list is an ISO file and a product key to go along with the Windows 7 version you want to use, and a USB, a Windows 7 USB DVD download tool which I've already downloaded. I'll leave a link down in the description to everything you will need, and I'll show you where you can download those things and how. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, in order to get the Windows 7 ISO, you just want to search Google for Windows 7 ISO, and you click on the first link here, which is the official Microsoft website where you can download the Windows 7 uh, ISO file. So that should bring up this website here, and it should give you some instructions here what you need it does tell you here a blank USB or DVD with at least four gigs of space if you want to create the media and we recommend you use a blank USB or a blank DVD because any content on it will be deleted so you want to make sure that this is settled out before you continue on if you're gonna be using a USB or a DVD so once you have everything settled you're just gonna punch in your product key here which I've already done and I've already uh, verified it and everything I've erased it just for the sake of my own product key I don't anybody to take it from me but once you do put it in here and it verifies and it tells you what version of Windows 7 you can download so it tells me here the product key is eligible for Windows 7 professional uh, service pack 1 because it is a OEM disk so I did go out and buy it as a copy of Windows 7 it didn't come with any computers and we're gonna go ahead and select our language I'm gonna select English because it's the language I speak but you can go ahead and select any language you want so we're gonna go ahead and click English and confirm and it's going to validate our request and give us a link for either 32 or 64 bit download which you can use that same product key to activate both of them although not at the same time so we are going to be doing a 64 bit I already have it so you can always click on this link and wait for it to download now the next thing we have to download is the Windows USB uh, DVD download tool I'll leave a link to this website here down in the description but I will host it on on uh, Dropbox because of course Codeplex is shutting down and I don't know if they're gonna move this over to their their new hosting site which I think is a github I don't remember which website they said they were gonna be moving to but it'll be on my Dropbox if you want to download it once you do download it we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to the desktop and uh, we're gonna run the program once you do run it this is what it looks like and here we have our Windows 7 ISO so the first step is to choose the ISO file now keep please do remember if you didn't put in your DVD to put it in now it's gonna ask you for it so we're gonna go ahead and choose our ISO file so we'll click browse it's on my desktop, so we're going to click here, and then we click next. In step two, we get to choose whether we want USB or a DVD. Now, if you're going to be using a USB device, it's going to show you a list of all the removable devices that are uh, supported on your computer. And if there is any that you can use, it should come up here. Like, let's say if I plug in my cruiser, it's going to show here SanDisk Cruiser and how much storage space is available to that um, USB drive there and you can just click on it and begin copying of course I don't have anything plugged in so I can't use that so we're gonna go ahead and select DVD and once it reads your blank DVD and verifies that it is blank and you can use it go ahead and begin burning this process depending on how fast your DVD drive is at burning it will take like five ten minutes or so depending on how long it takes it took me like five minutes to do this because I have a fast DVD burner but just click on uh, burn and it will be uh, it'll start burning so we're gonna go ahead and leave this here and we'll be back once the the next step uh, occurs so the DVD is finally complete and you can see here it says uh, insert a disk please insert a disk into drive D and this is asking you because if you want to make another DVD you just put it in and the process will start over again but we're not gonna do that so we have successfully created a USB, not a USB, a DVD with Windows 7 on it. Now in order to verify this, I'm going to go ahead and close the DVD again. And if you are using a laptop, keep in mind what you put next to the DVD drive. And I speak from experience in that I had my phone next to the DVD drive and it couldn't open because my phone was in the way. Just, just as a little side note there. So now that we've created uh, the DVD successfully, we're going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to jump into this PC and hopefully 
if everything goes well. Yes, everything went well. That's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. It should be Windows 8.1 and later down the line, Windows 10. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.